Okay, it's time for Mega Moves Chili Garden 2013-14. It's um, New Year's Eve tomorrow, so it'll be 2014 very soon. Update. So now this is a Dougla. Got a lot of room behind the shed, which I'm going to put some more pots in. At the moment it stands as a Dougla. He's got a few little pods. He's um he took a long time to get started. I don't think I'd spread all the nutrients far enough out, so he took a long while to get started. He's coming now. This Dougla's doing much better. He's got those Dougla pods with the pinched ends on them. Looks like someone's just taken a thumb and finger and squashed them. They have that form. You can see that. He's doing quite well, he's got quite a lot of pods going on. Getting bigger. We've got Primo Orange, which um, a few of them are getting this sort of leaf chlorosis, I believe it's called. Yellowing, I think that's just from a bit of overwatering or just what's that's just what happens. This one's a bit slow to pod, uh, butt up, but there's a little, there's a little chili with a nice tail on it. Very primo-ish, which is good because another primo orange I've got, it's supposed to be primo orange, it's not looking primo orange. It's got, got these butcher looking things. So, um, be interested to see what colour these things turn when they finally turn. There's quite a lot of pods on here. They, they look hot but they don't look primo. We could if they turn orange, that'll be interesting. And this is a, just a seven pot primo regular and this has got some gigantic pods on it. And they're all sort of pointing up. The buds start pendant, the flowers, and then when the pod comes it points up. And this one's pointing out that it's have to be the biggest one in my garden, it's huge. It's got quite a few other ones here. I'm really waiting for them, checking them every day, waiting for them to turn. This one's got a funny little finger on top of the pod, the Siamese pod or something. And here's some stink bugs I found in my garden on one of my plants. So I um, fed them to the ants. And so I'm going to be crazy. Yay! Food. And there's another seven pot primo. And he's not looking that primo ish. Got some. Damn. It's a cricket. I thought it was a spider. Okay. Um, yeah, his pods are looking pretty cool. They're not got that primo hook, but there is a newer one up here somewhere, I think. It's got the little, little tail. Good signs for the future. Got one good primo, at least. And then we've got Jonah. And um, he's looking pretty good. Nice and gnarly, wrinkly, bubble, bumpy. We've got another one here. These leaves at the bottom, it's the lower leaves that do this, so might be some pH issue causing nutrient knockout. Although that one looks like it's got some black stuff on it. We'll see. He's looking quite good, that one. I like this one. It's got this little sort of barb and stuff. Might save seeds from that one. And then we've got another Jonah, and this one had some serious mite issues. And I um, cut him back to about here. And so there was only like four leaves on it doused it with wettable sulphur. I cut it back so that I could make sure I got 100% of the, the coverage of, um, so no mites escaped to come back again and it sprouted and although I thought it was going mighty again it's just those new leaves that always look a little bit twisty and small so he's looking good so I might have actually cut the mites off at the pass here before they really got a hold which is good and we've got another Jonah. Mm. 
Let's get some pods. These runs are all under the shade cloth and they're not really ripening as fast as some other ones in the garden we'll get to. And so yeah, he's coming on good. Then we've got yellow seven pot. This one's at the edge of the shade cloth, so they get morning sun, quite strong morning sun. And they've taken a while to pot up, but now he's getting some nice wrinkly looking sods. The tails. Pointy, very nice looking. Um, bit limp, I might, I might adjust his dripper. They're all on a bore retick, and they've each got their own little, their own little dripper, and you can adjust that, make it give them more water. And this one's always wilting in the morning because it gets a strong morning sun from here. The grass is encroaching. Um, but he is, he's making some funny pods, funky looking shapes. It's got that sort of not an old man look about it. Um, and he's a bit slow because of because of the morning sun. Then we move over to this where I've spread these out quite well to give them room to grow because last season they got up to the top of the fence maybe because I gave them too much um, sheep manure this season they're much lower and um, but they're spaced out so they can bush they don't have to stretch whereas over here I've decided to do them really close together and make a chilli hedge and um, over there they are really closing up really well can't see between them now there's two there's two rows of plants there and you can't see between them and because it's sort of up there in the garden I've got access to the other side so I'm not going to be lost trying to find plants so I'll quickly go through what I've got I've got Trinidad perfume which don't have any heat my daughter likes them um, the grass is just utterly Oh, persistent it will not stop encroaching because I've put put a um, sheep manure and mushroom compost in here and they love it everything loves it grass to get in there sort of a never-ending battle to get it out we've got Maruga red um, and he's got some nice looking pods there he's um yeah he's doing well he um, started a bit slow. Last last season, my Maruga Reds were not Maruga Red looking. These ones much, look much better, nice and wrinkly. I haven't turned color, changed colour yet, but hopefully they will. The real title on this one is the Maruga Yellow. Last season, my Maruga Yellows turned orange. And they're a bit smaller here. Yeah, they're not very big, but um. Hopefully they'll change. And that's actually a different plant next to it. This is a, um, I can't remember. Nagabon. Okay, I've been trying to grow this for many years and I haven't got germination or the seedlings have died. Finally this one's worked and I've got, I've got these little tails on them. They're pretty cool. And over the back here, I've got a red savina, which got an early pod, which is now nice and red. It looks like it's got a hole in it, but I think that's just something sitting on there. So um, he's probably ready for picking. Give me a bit more. And Benny Highlands. I actually got some pods off this, but I really didn't do as well as um, I wanted to last year. So I just gave another go last season. He's finally got a little pod there. It's taken a while. And the other, because I had seed, double seedlings in pots, sometimes triples. And um, the other seedling had mites. In the pots, I just threw the whole thing out. Look at this one, nice big thick stem. We've got to put you off your peach. He's um, he's got this frangy penny tree under to give him shade. So he's um, he's got these big fat leaves to get more sun. And um, it's taken a while to get his pods pods going, but they're coming now. Oh, it doesn't look like a put you off your peach at all. We'll see what happens with him. I have to pin him back a bit. And then we've got the uh, Indian carbon down here. 
Uh, he's always been a bit slow here. Now he's being shaded out. I don't know if he'll, he'll make it to potting or anything. Now I've got this cross here. Put your here. Cross. Habanero white giant. Which is also a bit slow, but it's a cross, so you can never be sure what they're going to do. Um, I bought, I got this cross from um, Jungle Rang. He's been crowded out now because he's a bit slow, slow on the uptake. Now we've got Bit Jillock here. He's, um, he was a very big producer last season to start with and then he slowed down. But he's um, holding his own, doing alright. We got Bit Jillock here, just regular. It's probably my best plant last, last year. I saved seeds from it and he sort of tucked away here. He was on the corner before and made you have massive. But yeah, that definitely looks the part, that one. So yeah, just doing well. And we have Tobago, Tobago seasoning. He's, um, he started early. He was first first ones to get pods and now he's got some little ripe ones which I can pick. Um, I'm not sure how hot they are. I don't think they're that hot. I think they're more seasoned flavour. But to have a try. There we go. Then over here is seasoning pepper from Mika. Um, I don't think he's got any. He's got some pods. He hasn't got anything ripening yet. Oh, there's one in a pot that I think is ripening. Watch him. Now yeah, we've got seven pot brain strain. He's another little tiny one that just Always been a bit weak, just um, I don't know why, but sometimes I just never get going. This one hasn't got going. And over back here, we've got seven pot burgundy. Now, this one started pretty slow, as you can see, it has kicked on big time. Nice big thick stems, got a cluster of pods up here, and uh, some more pods down here. So, I really want this one. I was upset when it started slow because it's a really nice colour on the picture so I wanted to have a go of him and he's come back. Seven pot SI red. Can, um, oh yeah, no, he's got one. I don't think I got it to pod last season. Well, it was at the back and they weren't really proper sized. So I have to wait and see. And this bushy one, barrack paw. He was also at the back, but he had a late little spurt last season, so he's been a bit small. He's budding though, lots of buds, lots of flowers. So uh, we'll see, see what we can get out of him. We've got here, seven pot Jonah Yellow. Now this one was quite sickly before, so I thought it was going to be a reject, but um, he's come on, he's come on well. Got some pods now. They're small, but um, I think if we keep feeding him and getting him bigger, he'll um, get bigger ones. Over the, over the back we've got, um, what is this one, Black Naga? Yeah, Black Naga. My pods start out this dark brown colour. And I think as they ripen, they turn green again. This is, I think this is the first pod, there's some sunburn, and that's the dark colour, but they turn green. And then obviously they um, probably ripen red. I don't know. I've forgotten how to look that one up. There's nothing near this pole because there's a lot of concrete under there, so there's no food. Um, and then we've got Dorset Naga, which is a very short plant. But, as you can see, he's got quite a lot of all these pods coming off the first node here. There's like I think there's six or seven pods all coming off there. And they're um they're all ripening, doing well. Oh, that's a nice big one. Like that. It got really good results with Dorset Naga last year. So um no it doesn't look right, that looks all soft. Yeah, alright, I'll start another video.